Good day to all you wonderful people out there in YouTube land. This is Everyman with Everyman's 40K channel. And yes, I am super excited because I believe this is our last video displaying uh, what we'd call the build process or like putting the army together. So we're going to get into uh, breacher units and pathfinder units, cadre fire blade and my... Um, dark strider model and i got another little surprise in the back here uh in the background so let's go ahead and get into this roll right into it so the first unit or the unit in the back okay that i want to describe and what i mean by the back is this back unit back here okay this 10-man squad this particular squad is my breacher unit okay uh, i will bring these up uh, up close there's two sets of files that you're going to need, okay? The front unit here is my Pathfinder unit, okay? So, Breachers, Pathfinders. There's two files, and I'll leave all the files and everything in the description like I always do, so I'll direct link them straight to you. Uh, she calls them, okay? Piper Makes, again, she is the designer. Piper Makes calls uh, these Firefish. Okay, or Gobi, G-O-B-Y, Gobi Firefish and Gobi Watchman. Okay, and there's other files that you're going to want. Um, she also has another uh, Gobi file I'll put in the description, and that's to build ethereals. And then she has other files to build um, like leaders, okay, specialty units that would go into these units. But I chose a different, I went a different route, and I'll explain and I'll show you. Okay, so let's get into this. I'll bring in and do some close-ups here. So this is, again, my breachers. And as you can see, they have kind of the uh, little underslung handle, right, the, the pistol grip. Shoulder pads, right? Check those out. Check out the uh, helmet or the uh, head, so to speak, right? Because when you get the file, uh, you're going to need, she calls them, you know, head STLs. Okay. So check those out. Got the pistol pouches. Got the pistol. Check that out. His breacher gun on the back connected to his backpack. I mean, just outstanding. This stuff is crazy. Uh, I'll drop some color pictures in on the breachers here now. So here you go. You guys can go ahead and take a look. Uh, run through maybe two or three of these pictures. Let me bring in a couple more. Again. It's got his pistol. Got his rifle or his uh, breacher gun with the little uh, slide on the you know the slide action handle pump action so to speak we got a gentleman here or a guy kneeling got his pistol he's got like a little center array on his backpack and all this is in the file but you okay when you're plating these you have to put these together you have to put these all on the plate and determine what the look that you want okay but again, aiming down the barrel, got his head tilted. Again, pistol pouch with the pistol inside. Kneeling. Just outstanding. Okay, so you guys get the point. You guys understand why I chose Piper Makes because it's it's the only, I mean, she's the only one out there that's doing stuff that, that you can throw down and say, this is my Tau army, right? So... So now this is the breacher, okay, and I believe these are the firefish, okay? So Gobi firefish. I believe that's when you're going to find the different kind of guns, different kind of styles. They're all in these. You're going to need two files, okay? So now let's get into the pathfinders. So again, because I went with Piper Makes, look at the difference. Ronin style shoulder pads. Different style head swap, right? weapon he's got a he's got a sword short sword pistol pouch and forearm okay and i'll throw up some pictures so now let's go ahead and let's go with piper makes i'll throw up some pictures here 
and you can see uh, again they're all the same the files are very very similar okay you just have to know what you're looking for uh, let's do a comparison real quick so let me just grab anyone here so look look at the legs okay on the thigh you see that thigh and he's got the two little dimples one here and one here okay he's got the two little spots on his leg okay a little bit different in the crotch area or the uh, torso okay the torso is different now let me bring in another person here okay now I'm gonna go to the Pathfinder look at the Pathfinder look at that thigh armor okay not even close not even close look at that center torso okay the crotch area right again not close here I went forearm so the the torso or the body that you're gonna have to play you're gonna have to again search this out you're gonna have to find your STL files and which ones you want but these guys are now forearm and a head swap totally different I mean there's no way that you're gonna mistake Pathfinders for breachers like on my table or like in my army it's it's so obvious and it's so clean here we went with rail rifles I mean look at that it's just so good as you can tell I'm just like yeah I'm so I'm so excited I, I just can't get can't wait to paint this stuff another rail rifle and then look at this look what Piper did you got a guy with the rail rifle that's compressed okay that's that's rail rifle extended so from here to here right it's extended out so ready to shoot well here you got a gentleman or a little model the breech is open he's loading the breech and and it's not extended I mean where are you gonna get that in anywhere else I mean, you're not. So, I mean, just amazing, amazing work. I can't uh, give her props enough for putting this stuff together. Again, Ronin style shoulder pad. I can't, again, I can't wait to paint this stuff. So cool. And then I'm probably gonna do on some of them, we're gonna do the little back banners, right? Okay, so now let me get into Dark Strider. Uh, this particular file, they are called Cory Dora, okay? Cory Dora file and I'll put these in the description as well this is a bigger file as you can see we'll go side by side real quick so my dark strider is going to be kind of more of a crude height as you can see but very distinct I mean look at that look at his drone in his hand I mean awesome look at the blade coming out of the tail okay little two little power packs on the side here coming out of his back I mean this is when I get this painted again just amazing but that is gonna be my dark strider okay and I'll show you some pictures of her Cory Dora's okay so let me put them up here you get three or four pictures Cory Dora this is supposed to be her crude okay so for you guys out there to have an understanding Cory Dora are her actual crude swap ends but I have a different plan for crude okay I, I have a totally different set of models in mind if I ever want to run crude okay this is supposed to be my mechanized army um, there's really not supposed to be any flesh or what we would call organics in this. This is all metal. Uh, again, think of a Terminator, the very first Terminator with Arnold in Terminator number one. Just all metal, all um, composite armor robots, basically. Okay, so now, Cadre Fireblade. Same thing. Look at that dude. like a sniper rifle in the air he's got the little hose or the little power cord he's got the scope 
And then he's got the little, right there, another magazine, right? Because you can see the magazine, right? He's holding with his one hand. And then he's got a magazine in his tail coming up over. I mean, just amazing. As you can tell, like, just like this stuff just blows my mind. This 3D printing stuff has gotten so good. It's like, uh, it's like being a little miniature, you know, God complex here. Just you put the files in and all these little guys just kind of grow out of this soup, basically the resin soup. And it's just, yeah, blows my mind. Okay. So again, I'll drop a file uh, for Cadre Fireblade. I'll drop a file in for Dark Strider. You can get comparisons. Okay. Uh, Breachers, I'll drop a file. Pathfinders, again, drop some pictures, do some comparison, the GW back and forth type stuff. So I want to show you one more model or one more file. Okay. And this is in the Gobi files and you, you just got to be able to put this together. She has a drone set. Okay. In her drone files, which is a, another section you got to go to. And yes, it's another download. I get it. But check this out. This is a fire sight. See the guy kind of down on his knees, kind of hands pointing. Look at that. But look at that for a fire sight, right? A sniper out in the distance. Look at that weapon all tuned into his backpack. Just amazing, incredible. I'll try to show you a colored file from Piper Makes on this one too. I believe she has one, I'll try to find it. Then finally, 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 for the little, um, I believe it's the Pathfinder unit that if they remain stationary for one turn, they get to actually drop a turret. It's kind of like a little turret missile pod or missile rack. So for that, I'm going again with this system here and this is her ground drones there is a name i can't sorry i forgot uh, you just got to go to printedwargames.com look for piper makes and all her files everything is right there but you got the little missile rack then you got a sensor array side by side with the missile rack so, you know, when they stay stationary, this is the little thing I'm going to drop down beside them to tell me that, okay, I can start shooting uh, missiles, right? So if they move again, you pick it up, move it, kind of a pain, right? But I just want realism. I want to, you know, I want it to be, uh, I want everything. So this is it, everybody, right? I'm a little bit out of breath here. I kind of crank through these real quick. So this is it, this now. The next video that you guys are going to see from me is probably actually me and my airbrush and I'm going to start airbrushing these things. I got to get some color on them so that next opening videos will no longer be building and kind of like showcasing these. We're actually going to get into painting. Okay, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're going to close this out. If you like everything that I'm doing, please hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell and hit that like button. Tell all your friends on social media that I'm out here. I only do this word of mouth. I don't try to do anything else. I don't go. Ha I don't hand out business cards at tournaments and all that kind of stuff. So this is it. And like we always say on the channel, may all your dice rolls come up sixes unless you're looking for that one. Peace out, everybody.